hey what's up guys welcome back for another video so today i'm going to show you something i just recently found that's very easy and fast and efficient to use dynamic localizer stick around and i will show you thanks for tuning in on my channel for those who are new my name is back again i'm an amari radiographer so in my channel i'm covering things from basic to advanced amari topics tutorials just like this one Sometimes I also have two minutes tip and tricks video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So recently I had a cardiac examination and I just went into the Siemens tree to just check what sequences are available there. And I found this specific sequence right here, which I'm gonna show you today, which I think can be useful because when I'm talking about localized, I want localized to be fast, efficient, and easy to use. And which also provides me a good overview on how to position my slices so enough talking let's go to the scanner and i will show you all right i have a macbook right here with me today to show you where you can find this specific sequence i'm talking about so uh, the thing is that uh, I'm, this was performed on 1.5 tesla however and i tried to find the same sequence on the 3t but i couldn't find it so uh, if you want to rebuild the sequence on the 3t i'm very happy to share with you the pdf so you can you know fix this protocol by yourself manually so let's show you something here right now so in here at the dark hug bit so go into the heart you go into the function true fist and down at the bottom here you find the one slice non-triggered so this is the one you can use drag it over so let's open that one and you can see here uh, i'm doing a coronal way now and also a position mode for the ISO, so it would be easy for me to move the, move the table along with the field view. And you can also see here, the, the field view face is very small, so we, it's easy to get fold over, so just watch that. And if you still get fold over, you can use field view face over sampling. Increases that percentage. Scan that one for the liver part, and we're gonna do another scan here for the kidneys. So I'm gonna explain you to you why I think it might be useful for the kidneys as well. Just gonna add a little bit here, 40%, so we get fold over. And let's check the results. So for kidneys, let's say you're gonna do a native true face, but you need to know an exact position for the top and the bottom of the kidneys because adding on slices will prolong the scan time, right? So with this dynamic uh, localizer, you were able to see the top and the bottom of the kidneys. And when it comes to liver, whenever you're doing MRCP or respiratory trigger sequences, you will know exact position of the top, the highest part of the liver part and uh, the lowest part, so it's easy for you to position your navigator. So it might be useful as well. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable and informative. So if, if you really want to try it out, you can see where I found it. And if you're on a 3T and you really want to get a hands on the parameters, I will also provide you that if you want so. so my question for today before we close up is, do you know about this sequence? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. So do not forget to push the like button if you like this video and subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so whenever new things from me are coming up, you will get a notification. So until next time, I catch up with you and thanks for watching till the far end of this video. Peace out.